Well, hey, you guys, welcome back to the Canning Nana. So today we are doing all of these tomatoes and we are going to be using the KitchenAid and my uh, strainer attachment that I got last year that you guys might have seen me use last year if you were a subscriber back then. Um, if not, we are redoing um, this video. I go every Labor Day to a local farm that lets you pick the last of the Roma tomatoes. Um, and it's only 40 cents a, a pound. And we just have a blast going. So we've been doing this for probably about 10 or 11 years, bringing our grandkids with us. Um, this year, uh, it was just me picking and me lifting. So normally we get about 300, 350 pounds of Romas. But this year, I thought I was picked about 50 because I filled two boxes and um, when they waited it was almost 90. So 90 pounds of Roma tomatoes. Um, and the reason I didn't pick that much is because I have all these plans for canning and I want to do stuff and then I buy the food to can it and then I can't do it because of my back my back will hurt, my wrists will act up, and I just can't get to it. So I got what I thought was a normal, minimal amount, I guess, that I can handle. And um, I've been at this for probably about four hours today and sitting um, as I can, and so far so good. So i um, got my sauce going, that's in another video, you guys will see that. Um, and then this one is string tomatoes. So. This little gadget right here has saved me so much time. I got it for the first time last year. I'm going to put a link below um, in my description box for you guys. I know a lot of you guys purchased it after um, I showed it last year. It has been a lifesaver. So it's not only a fruit and vegetable strainer, it's also a meat strainer. So it also comes with a meat strainer attachment, um, which is amazing. And I had already bought that, so um, I have that up there in my cabinet in a separate box, never been opened, um, because I use this and it's got all of the attachments in it. And it was basically the same price. So, um, so I have a brand new one sitting up in my cabinet um, that I'll probably give to one of my girls. So, um, but I want to say that I'm going to show you guys how to work this, but it, it is a time saver. So if you watch my video um, doing the tomatoes by hand and uh, blanching them in water, taking off the skins, I love doing that because I have a whole gallon bag of skins that I'm going to dehydrate. So this is what I have from that last video. So I probably did about 50 pounds, I would say, of tomatoes, and those are cooking down right now in sauce. But these are going to be dehydrated into um, powder. I'm gonna make uh, tomato powder. So versatile, if you guys have never done it, um, I highly, highly recommend doing it because tomato powder can be used for so many different things. You can make sauce with it, you can make tomato soup with it, you can make tomato juice with it. Um, very, very versatile. You can use it as a thickener in soups. Um, it's just really good to have. So, whoops. I have some, um, oh my gosh, I'm just bumping it. I'm really sorry, you guys. Um, I have some from last year, and I have some tomato skins that I have not powdered yet from last year. I like to keep them um, whole the, the tomato skins and then powder them as I need them. Um, the reason for that is because when you do tomato pow uh, powder, it kind of gets um, a little bit hard. So I like to do only as much, I grind as much as I'm going to need maybe in one or two months. I also get it from Thrive Life. Thrive Life has an amazing tomato powder. It is also dehydrated. But the benefit of getting it from them is that it's stored in a can with oxygen absorbers um, and it's good for 25 years. So I have that on hand as well as my own. And let me tell you, I use it all the time. Not only theirs, but mine as well. Um, if you need tomato paste, you make tomato paste out of it. 
It is so versatile to have. Um, and instead of storing tomato juice, you have the powder to make tomato juice and it takes up so much less room. So if you guys are interested, if you can't do your own, go to my Thrive Life website and get just a pantry size can of the tomato powder and give it a try. It is amazing, absolutely amazing. It, it is the same as mine, um, totally compares to mine in every way, except like I said, they store it for me. <laughs> they, they do all of the work, put it in a can, and then theirs is good for 25 years where I cannot come close to that. So that's for my long-term storage, but I, like I said, I've used theirs and it's amazing. It, it totally compares to fresh. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, put the, the link in the description below. Um, it is very, very good and very, very versatile. Okay, let's get started with this. So let me show you how easy this is. Let me put another light on so you guys can see. This gadget is a lifesaver, like I said. So I just want to show you, this is my tomato sauce that is cooking down um, from the tomatoes that I uh, blanched and scored blanched and took the peels off of and everything. So I got an 18 quart pot going now and you guys will see that in a separate video, but I wanted to show you that. Um, so I walked away from it and it boiled over and my husband caught it. So that's why you see all of the tomato all over the side. It doesn't usually look like that. Not supposed to look like that. Luckily it didn't burn. It smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell this. Um, but we are going to make strained tomatoes. This one has chunks in it um, from the whole Roma. You'll see in the video how I did that. But the strained tomatoes are just as good. Okay, so all you do is you turn on your mixer and what you're gonna do is you're going to cut your tomatoes and they need to be raw tomatoes not cooked okay, make sure you guys can see so we're gonna put these in the hopper up here let me get this right here this is our pusher downer <laughs> so and watch how easy this separates the seeds from the seeds and the uh, skin from the tomato. So we are going to push that down. I should have had all of these cut. So this is the discard right here and this is the sauce right here. So what we do with this, this is not done. So what I do is I run this through the machine three more times to get all of the juice out as much as I possibly can. So let me go ahead and cut a bunch of this up so I can show you how it works much better and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I have cut a bunch of tomatoes. So I'm gonna turn this back on and show you how I do this. I'm gonna put it all in the hopper as much as I can. And I'm going to start squeezing it down with a little tool. And you don't wanna to push too hard but you want to make sure that all the tomatoes get in there. Really, really easy. And then I will show you what this does. The juice. It just, it literally makes tomato sauce for you. You can see all the discard coming out. And like I said, this is super, super wet discard. So I'm going to run this through again. So I learned last year that if I run it through a few times, there's plenty of liquid left in those tomatoes. So you want to run it through a few times, not just once. And then what you get in the end is just the juice and you can cook that down. Um, you can can it. What I'm going to be doing is canning it with some basil, just like I did last year. And um, we can make soup, we can make tomato juice with it, we can make sauce with it just by cooking it down, um, maybe adding a can of Roma tomatoes that are whole that I have still. Um, but you can see how fast this goes. Once you cut the tomatoes, that's the hardest part. It's so, so easy after that. Just so easy. 
<laughs> I think the hardest part is filling the hopper and keeping it hot and keeping it going. Because literally it's just juice coming out. So if you want a canned tomato juice in a half gallon uh, jar, you can. Um, this is great. Put down on pizza. Um, make your own sauce. So good. Just add uh, some Italian seasoning, some garlic, some basil, some oregano, and you have amazing pizza sauce. So I am just going to go through all of this. So I have probably done over 10 pounds of tomatoes already in just the time that we've been doing this. Easily 10 pounds. This machine is very, very easy to clean. And no, I am not an affiliate of KitchenAid or anything like that. I just love KitchenAid and the attachments. They make life so much more easy, especially with this. The neat attachment, um, the sausage attachment, it's just very, it's, it's amazing. Okay, I'm going to finish this and show you the juice that we have already in here. It's just amazing. And then, then you cook it down which I'm going to show you guys, and then we're just going to can it. And you can water bath can this, or you can pressure can it. It's just tomatoes. So in order to water bath can it, you're going to have to add citric acid or lemon juice to it, um, which really does not change the flavor of this at all. Get the last of these. Easily 10 pounds in just a couple minutes, you guys. And wait until you see all the juice that we have. Oops. So, so easy. Okay, so that's the last of the tomatoes. And it's, oh, oh there's one more. Put that in there. Okay. And you can see this all coming out. It's like a skin stuck. Okay, so we are going to shut this machine off. Or you know what? I'll just bring you over here. Much easier. Let's show you all of the juice from those tomatoes already. And it's it's pretty thick. It's not it's not really thin. All we did is took the skins and the seeds out. That's all we did. So I am gonna go ahead and do have the rest of these here and then I have another bowl um, full so and there this goes so quickly you guys so after this I'm gonna make dinner and then I'm gonna make some salsa start canning this sauce and I will take you guys along for the ride that this is all we're doing um, and I will show you what I do with this um, so if you, let me turn this back on, and I'll show you how much juice you get out of the remaining, oops, the remaining um, discard that just came out of here. So much more juice in there, which is just amazing. So you put it through, I think I put it through three times last year until the juice just stopped coming out. Make sure you have clean hands, of course, and make sure that you keep what's coming out now separate from what came out earlier so that you know because this, this hopper's pretty big and it holds a lot so you can put it all in there and you really get all of the juice out of your tomatoes this way and no seeds and no skin. Everything else comes out with just getting the juice. This is really good if also if you're using um, apples. I made apple butter with this this year. Um, it made it so easy. I made apple sauce with it this year. Made it so easy. And you can see the difference in the consistency right here coming out. It's much drier now. And you just keep putting it back in until it's super, super dry, and you will be able to tell the difference very, very, very easily. So I'm just gonna show you guys this. Just keep putting it back in until there's nothing left. 
And just out of those tomatoes that we got, see how dry it's coming out right now? So it's probably the last put it in there. Doesn't look like there's much juice coming out of this at all now. I think we got the last of the juice out of these. This little bit. Okay, so let me show you how much we have. Now we are that full. So if you guys have a mixer, a KitchenAid mixer, you know how large this bowl is. Just out of those maybe 10 pounds of tomatoes, we have probably about three quarters of a bowl of juice so far. And you can see here how it's not barely, barely coming out, still moving a little, little bit, but there's nothing left. So that's what you wanna do is keep putting it through, get all of the juice out of all of your tomatoes. And um, you know, it's the easiest thing ever. So let me get going with all of these tomatoes and then I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so it is now eight o'clock and I am absolutely exhausted. I still need to make dinner. I'm gonna make pasta, but I just wanna show you, I have two, let's see, three gallons of the strained tomatoes in half gallon jars that I'm going to be putting in my refrigerator and canning tomorrow, so that will be a separate video tomorrow. Um, and I still have tomatoes left. <laughs> this is going to be um, salsa for tomorrow. And then I have all of these peels that I need to put in the dehydrator tonight. Um, and I can barely stand. So um, I've been standing for six hours and it's just way too much for me. So um, these are all going in the refrigerator and this is what's left. So I'm gonna use some of this for dinner and then put the rest in um, the pot of sauce that I'm making from the whole romas that I um, that I squeezed. So um, yeah, that's just gonna go, whatever is left over is gonna go in there. Gonna work out perfect. And I will can super, super early in the morning, um, pressure canning my sauce and then water bath canning um, all of this and making salsa. Don't know how I'm gonna do this. We have um, two doctor's appointments tomorrow to fit in with all this too. So I guess I'm getting up super early. So. Um, the word of the day for this video is strained, excuse me, strained tomatoes. Um, let me know if you guys have ever used one of these. Um, it's a mess right now. It gets all over everything, but um, I mean, it, it's pretty contained, but it's a mess. So you can see the tomato, all of that stuff in there. Um, yeah, just... It's easy to clean though. Comes apart just as easy as it went back together. Super, super easy and it, it really does save you time. So um, I am going to go. Don't forget to comment the word of the day in the comment section below. Email me if you have any questions, thecanningnana at gmail.com and I will see you guys tomorrow. See you soon.